OK, I'm here with uh, Frank Gainsbury for uh, Thunder TV. Frank, um, first of all, thank you very much for taking the time uh, to talk to us. Uh, firstly, congratulations on the BBL's uh, franchise offer and the acceptance, obviously. Um, it's been long coming for Worthing. How ready do you think Thunder are financially, though? Um, the BBL has been known in years gone by to have clubs go because of money troubles. Obviously, Brighton Bears, Manchester Giants, for example. Um, how do you respond to that? Well, I think um, the whole um, uh, issue of this really is that we've, we've looked at this as a business as much as a basketball club. Um, there's no point running a successful team on court if the business isn't successful off court. Um, the sort of issue really is that we've got to set the thing up on a sound financial basis. We don't want to be a one-year wonder and uh, we have to make sure that we build gradually and we build from a solid footing. Uh, I'm confident that we've got a good enough business plan to make sure that, that happens and we're still around for a few years um, and can gradually uh, work our way up the league. Certainly. Um, personally, how ready are you to take up a BBL franchise, you yourself? Um, can you uh, tell the, the fans of the BBL, general British basketball fans, about yourself? Well, I mean, uh, it's, it's not so much a personal thing. We're, we're, we're blessed here with um, having such a tremendous support, um, not only from the fans, but a tremendous group of um, uh, colleagues who are on the board of directors with us and uh, without them we couldn't possibly have uh, ever achieved anything really and uh, uh, it seems to me that whenever something needs to be done there's somebody there happy to do it. Uh, so yeah I think we're more than ready, uh, it's going to be hard work um, and I think uh, we've got to step our game up on court and off court but yeah, yeah. we're ready. Oh excellent, that's good. Um, where do you see Worthing Thunder in say five years time? Five years time. Well, I, I like to see. I, I like to see us model our progress on on somebody like Plymouth, who came into the BBL three or four years ago. I think maybe a little longer than yeah. that. And they they were former EBL club, and uh, it's good to see the progress they've made. It's been absolutely fantastic. And if mm. we can do the same, I think these guys were up at the BBL finals uh, this year and did really well. So that's a really sound model to, to, to follow. If we could do that, I'd be well pleased. Yeah. And uh, finally, I'm being a bit posi more positive now. Your summary on Worthing Thunder and your uh, personal vision. My personal vision? Uh, well, it would be great to see Worthing Thunder um, in a position that maybe Worthing Bears were before they left town here. You know, they had full houses that were playing to packed audiences, people queued up to get in, they were playing great basketball and they had a good, solid team. Um, I think, uh, you know, that's really the headline part of the club, but also, more importantly, we. We need to make sure that this is a community-based club and we've got to work really hard on helping our youngsters to develop. We've got six teams playing in national leagues, uh, all at an excellent standard and I think we'd like to encourage them as much as we can by getting some uh, sponsorship into the, um, into the junior end of the club. We want these people to become part of the club, not just a junior team. Mm. Maybe not next season, but the season after. It'd be great to have another EBL team yeah. running on board so that the uh, juniors have got somewhere to move on up into the men's game and eventually into the BBL team if they're good enough. Yeah. So yeah, exciting times. Thank, thank you very much for uh, talking to us on Thunder TV and uh, thanks for taking the time. You're welcome, thanks for asking.